Okay guys, I'm back, and as I promised you, now we're going to be doing my PS1 collection 2011 edition. Of course, not much has changed. Oh crap, sorry for that, folks. Again, it's my computer. Not much has changed since I first did my uh, collection. But I did get a couple new games, of course, in surprise videos. Okay, so here we go. Gonna we'll start off with Crash Bandicoot. For me, this is kind of hard because this is, I, I haven't played this. Well, actually, I know I have I have played it, but just not. It's new to me. I've never had it before. Uh, before I ordered it off of Amazon. That's this is where I usually get my video games, old ones. I know Arcade Man 1994 has this. This is Crash Bandicoot. And up next is a game that Michael101591 has. He and I basically have almost... Uh, most of my games that I have, sorry. I'll put it like this. Most of the games that I have, he has them too. And of course, this is one of them. Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back. When I first saw my PS1 collection, this is the first game I did. Or, first game I showed, sorry. And uh, this is really good. That's all I have to say, because there's not much that's needed that hasn't been said already. And of course, here's Crash Three Wart. Another good one too. Basically, every Crash game, every old Crash game is good. The newer ones, pff, no, no, they're not really that good at all. But the older ones, yes. And, of course, this is part of the older series, so this is good. Probably do a review for it, but it won't be a full full run, I don't think. Here's the next one, Crash Bash. The Gamerman16 just recently got this. He says this is kind of like Mario Party. I sort of, in a way, agree with him, but... There's no mini-games, <laughs> obviously. But this is good. And I like the warp room, warp room music ah, in this game, and this is good. Here's a game that I plan to do a review of. I've filmed ten games, like I said of it, but none of them will be posted. I'll start a new run for this, and I'm talking about Family Feud for the PS1. But when I get to my run, I do not know. But this is good. This is when Louis Anderson was the host for three years. Then, of course, after that, there was Richard Karn, and then John O'Hurley, and now Steve Harvey. And, of course, here's one that I know is an instant classic, but you can, again, throw your tomatoes at me. Because it's not one I take interest in, that's Frogger. Yes, grab your tomatoes, throw them at me. But I... I just don't take interest in this for some reason. But if anyone requests me to do, to do a review for this game, I probably will just for them. Anyway, this is Frogger. Up next, we got Jeopardy. Easiest Jeopardy game out there, but when I played this, when I, when I was filming this for my... Uh, 4,000 channel view special for the Wheel Spinner 14, now known as Nickel Man 6187. I didn't get hardly any clues correct. That's not, even though, and I'm not going to post the channel view special. That, that, this is not why, though. It's because he closed his account before I, post, before I had a chance to post it. Anyway, this is Jeopardy. And of course, it's sequel, the second edition, which I know Michael101591 has. When I bought this, there was no cover for this. Just the disc. Got this at a pawn shop back in late 2008 or late 2009. I cannot remember, but it was in December. I know the month was was December. Anyway, and next. 
is a game that would probably make you vomit even though it's one that Mr. Johnny V1993 has I apologize for, for saying this John but this game is not good and I'm talking about Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue horrible horrible game no fun sloppy controls graphics just are mind-blowingly awful and for me I didn't I don't like rocket power that much so for me that's another reason why I don't like it but stay away from this game um, but here's a good one though the, the Lion King Sim is Mighty Adventure this is one that I, that I would recommend for Aubrey S 1987 I'm not making him get it but I'm just saying if he did get it, it'd be pretty fun, despite the fact that there's only uh, nine levels. Spoilers, but I know, but, yeah. But, I'll probably review this game if anyone requests me to do so. Uh, I'll uh, do it. Up next is uh, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. One of the first two games I got for the play PlayStation console. This is really good. Matthew V2688 had a review for this game on his old channel of Matt49324 for his New Year's Eve special for 2010. Anyway, this is Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Uh, next is a pretty good one, but it's kind of hard to, according to somebody out there, I forget who, but. Because he was talking about the N64 version of this game. This is Spider-Man. I do. No, I'm sure, though, this is the same thing as the six, as the uh, 64 game. This is pretty good, especially if you like Spider-Man, which I kind of do. Anyway, Spider-Man for PlayStation One. I'll probably do a review for the game, but will it be a full run? Hmm. I don't know yet. SpongeBob SquarePants. Super Sponge. Mike, Michael101591 has this. He doesn't like it. I personally don't think it's that bad, but mm, it could be better, though. But, uh, it is kind of difficult in a way, but I'll, I'll probably review this if someone requests me to do so. Sorry for the shaking just there, but this, anyway, that's Spongebob Squarepants, Super Sponge, and next we got Spiral the Dragon. This is good. Uh, if I do review this game, though, it probably won't be a full, full run, because it's kind of long, but, oh well. Spiral to rip those Rage. If this is not my favorite game for the PS1, then it has to be the first Jeopardy game, despite the fact that I haven't played both of them, both of them in quite a while. This is good, though. I think every, I think anyone should get a Spiral game for the PlayStation 1 if they have one. But don't get the newer Spiral games. Oh, they're a piece of crap. This one here is Spiral 3, Year, Year of the Dragon. This is good. I have, I have a review filmed for, for this, but that was a, lo a few months back, and I'm not going to post that video. I'll, if, I'll probably do another review for this, though. But, um, this is pretty good. Next, we got Toy Story 2, which I also have for the 64, as I showed you earlier. This is good. It's the same thing. Really. Except the controls are different, but no, uh, Mr. Johnny V1993 has this. But this is good. That's all I have to say. And up next we got Wheel of Fortune. Aubrey is 1987. Matthew V2688. And some other people out there have this game. I know Scatman Nick does too. 
Unless you gave it away, but I don't think you would. <laughs> just I'm just making up a point here. And well, a joke rather. Sorry, but this is good. Probably the best Wheel of Fortune game out there. And the last one I've show you is the second edition. It's sequel. This is pretty good. I I will do a, re a, re a review. Ah, sorry, for this game if any if anyone requests me to do so. Matter of fact, I probably will. Even if no one requested me to do so, I'll still probably review the game. I had scratched something there. I'm not going to tell you what it was. Anyway, that's Wheel of Fortune Second Edition, and I'll see you off for the next video, which will be my PlayStation 2 Collection 2011 Edition. But I'll show I'll show you them. Kind of similar to how a Max Nation 1980 used to show his uh, VHS tapes. I'll see you then. Bye bye. And while I'm doing it like that, it's because it's pretty long. It's a long collection. See you guys. Bye bye.